We were considering going to Six Flags today, but there's two things that are potentially keeping us from doing that. One would be weather concerns. It looks like it's gonna rain on and off all day. And two, it's like $80 a person to get in. I don't know if we wanna spend that much. We're in San Antonio. We picked up a motel last night. Probably gonna pick up some breakfast and try to plan some kind of adventure today. I don't know, let's hope it's beautiful. on the radar we noticed there are some massive storms hitting up the Texas Gulf Coast so it's only appropriate that we drive straight into those storms we don't know what to expect we have no reason for really doing this but we're gonna so it should be fun Judging by the massive number of people in that other lane with their headlights on. I'd say we're about to hit some rain. I looked on the radar. This storm is big enough to cover Austin, San Antonio, Dallas. We do have to be careful today. We should get back on the road, yes? Yes. Yes, these storms are building up all around us in like a 360 degree perimeter. So we better go ahead and get into one of them so we can have some fun. There it is, now we're getting close. All that rain coming down right there. That's exciting. I hope we get some lightning. Lightning would be awesome. We're all about taking pictures and time lapse and all sorts of creative things today. Part of me is a little bit nervous. You know how this coast can be with big storms. We've reached Corpus Christi, that's for sure. No sign of any huge storm right now. I looked at the radar again and it's kind of starting to dissipate a little bit. So I don't know, we might get a big storm, we might not. Not sure what that ship is, but I guess we're gonna find out here pretty soon. That is an aircraft carrier. Now this place is pretty cool just to go driving around in. Pull off the side of the road, take a few pictures. Never have to do too much hiking. It's my kind of day. It's not raining though, that's kind of weird. We're about to go over Harbor Bridge. It's a big bridge. like North Beach it is. Pretty cool, it looks nice. That's the USS Lexington over there, that aircraft carrier that we were showing you. Just learned that. That was fun. It was fun to pull off, just pull off, find a little beach spot, take some pictures. It's really humid out here today and we're starting to get kind of hungry. So we're gonna try to find something to eat, preferably seafood since we're at the Gulf. A new adventure, finding food. We were gonna do Blackbeards, but Pier 99 was closer. So seafood is seafood, we're gonna check it out. 
All right, what do we do next? I think we go get ourselves a hotel for a couple days so we can hang out in Corpus Christi and see the sights. I think that sounds like a plan. Yeah, now that I'm too full to walk around. <laughs> it's a little musty in here, but I think it'll do. It's a cheap motel, but we're right on the beach. because we locked ourselves out of our hotel room. Forgot the key. Super sorry about the noise, but hey, check it out. Got the backpack on. Melody's getting her backpack on. It's dark outside and there's some cool oscillating lights on a huge bridge that we happen to be really close to. We're gonna go check that out. Join us! Apparently called Fajitaville. Lots of bright lights. I guess we have to go in. Yes. It started raining, but hey, our hotel's right over here. That's right. As for tonight, I think we're gonna lay it down, watch some TV, and look forward to tomorrow. That's the road we drove in here on, and it is a river now. And that's another gigantic boat. It might be the one from yesterday coming back. We need to go get breakfast and figure out what we're gonna do with the rest of our last day here on the coast with torrential storms on the way. We went to bed last night and it happened. Oh, it happened hard. I think it's gonna happen today while we're awake. Rice's chef. They say they have breakfast. I saw old folks sitting in there, so it's gotta be pretty good. With the old folks, we at least know there's coffee. And eggs over easy. <laughs> it's raining, it's our surf. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did we get full, but the owner of the restaurant came by and told us, hey guys, thank you for coming in. If you do, if you don't get full, I'll give you a free pancake on the house. And I barely, even, I only ate half of my pancake as it was. Melody had to get her food to go because it was just this homemade steak sandwich. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was amazing. Price's Chef. It's like home cooked goodness, authentic, real home cooked. It's actually, it tasted better than Jim's restaurant. Seriously. Which <laughs> used to be my favorite restaurant. I think Price's Chef now is. So thank you, Alex, and your father and your whole family for running that business, because that was damn good. Yeah. Holy Lord. Look at the water shooting up out of the road. We're not even going more than five miles an hour. Okay, maybe 10. Scary oh, stuff. Oh, this is kind of scary, but it's exhilarating at the same time, because you're driving and not me. <laughs> This is what we came here for, right? It is exactly what we came here Only for. Only thing missing, we were gonna try to capture pictures of lightning and obviously it's not a thunderstorm. No, so. it's just a just complete a, deluge. Yeah. 
you can see the flooding just piling out all over the roads yeah we're hitting them a little harder than usual just because we're filming but you know we got to make it fun for everyone and that is our motel right there the old budget inn it's been good to us oh yeah this is the road we come in on or should I say this is the river we float in on oh boy oh we hit a bit of a bump golly and are we gonna make it are we gonna make it oh we made it Woo! well done <laughs> actually we're considering walking out onto the beach and all this So I pulled my rain cover out of my backpack. I'm going to carry it with me so I can put it over this camera. Don't want to risk ruining my expensive gear. The only gear I have, it's not going to be that fun doing it this way, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Well, you never like to see that. You never like to see your phone pulled apart into pieces with batteries and memories laying around and all the contents of your phone case. No. Why don't you tell the world how that happened? If you'd like to, I know you're kind of bummed out right now. I thought this was an inside pocket. It's not, it just goes straight through. So you, you dropped your phone in here. Yeah. And it came out here. Yeah. Oh boy, I would have done the same thing. Here I thought I was protecting it and instead I dropped it in the water. The best part of the situation is her memory card nor her SIM card got wet at all. The phone turned itself off, so it might have shorted out, but the data is there. We can get the phone replaced easy. We have insurance on these phones. I will gladly pull my phone apart and take, I don't even have a memory card in there, so you can easily put yours in there. Load them up. Go, you can put your SIM card in my phone for a little while if you want to. Load it up, go to town. Because I love you. <laughs> no, me. <laughs> turned out to be a bittersweet experience today for both of us actually turns out my camera has been damaged as well it won't turn on I'm thinking it got splashed or something just in the right spot shorted out so we're gonna come back to the hotel room we're gonna put our cameras on char well not on charge we're gonna let them dry and uh, just see see what we can do from here I don't know her phone might be dead my camera might be dead we're gonna find out soon enough Damn. So there's a good chance that we're gonna have to finish this episode on Clint's phone here, the LG V10. We don't exactly have access to a bag of rice to put our phones or cameras in. And so, well, wish us luck. Hanging out in the hotel, watching the clouds go by, watching awesome storms off in the distance. Man, it flooded us like heavily today. I swear I thought we were gonna get ran off the road or slide off the road today due to my balding tires, but hey, you did a great job driving. Thank you. Good job. Not all is lost. We do have our friend, Mr. Miller. He's been helping us along this uh, trying time here. We don't recommend doing this at home. We recommend doing it out at the beach. That is one unhealthy couple next to us. Oh. The only reason they're together is, well, it ain't my business to say. No, it's probably not, but I will go ahead and put myself on record saying that earlier I overheard a conversation with her on the phone, yelling at somebody saying, 
you're out there partying and celebrating while I'm up here with nothing. And when we first pulled in last night, the lady told me that she was hoping to get some cocaine. So that's our neighbors. They're also the maintenance people around the, the place. <laughs> I highly recommend the Budget Inn at North Park. <laughs> oh, don't be so glum. It reminds you how things could be but aren't for us. <laughs> God. <laughs> how about another shot of the beach, everyone? It's been a stormy day. All right. Broken cameras aren't going to stop us today, are they? No, they are not. We're gonna go out for round two of hiking. We're a couple cameras down, but that's okay. We're not gonna let that stop us. We also might grab a bite to eat while we're out. A first attempt for me. I've never gone along the beach in a pouring, blasting rain, have you? No. All right, you look excited, <laughs> but you look safe. Sorry for the sound quality. We switched to waterproof camera and we got the little case on it, so it's gonna sound like crap, but Melody and I have emptied our pockets we're heading back down to the beach in a pouring deluge of a rain. It's going to be foggy. It's going to be dirty. It's going to be fun. Yeah, main thing. Great fun. It's awesome. <laughs> The building over there is Fajitaville. And we're gonna go take our fajitas over there. <laughs> complete opposite. Everything that we've predicted has been complete opposite of how it actually happened. We wanted to show you a storm over the ocean. We didn't get it. We wanted to capture lightning shots. We didn't get it. We wanted to go to Sandy's. We didn't get it. But that's okay because we went to a way better place. But other than that, like you were saying, everything, blah. Well, we're giving them a storm over the ocean right now. True. But no lightning. But no lightning. This is the sidewalk. <laughs> this is actually the parking lot we parked in yesterday. We're going to go to Pier 99. We think they're open. We went here yesterday. It was really good. So we're going to try something different today. <laughs> oh, do you accept idiots? <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are idiots. <laughs> so what do you think about this hike so far? I think flip-flops aren't the way to go. <laughs> flip-flops are not. We're a little bummed out because we were looking to eat some great food here, but they had to shut it down. I understand why. We're still going to get a couple drinks and uh, build up some courage to make that trip back through that mess a fourth time. A fourth. A fourth time. Good thing everything we have on us is waterproof, especially our coats, keeping our stuff dry. Here's to an extremely unpredictable adventure. True. And here's to awesome people at awesome places. I can't think of anybody I would rather have an adventure like this with. If there was anyone out there that, that was on this adventure with me, we probably would fight each other, hate each other. but. With this one, you know what, we just take it as it comes. Yeah, we have some broken gear, 
critical broken here. Might be the end of us. Who knows? No. But no. We're, 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 we're going to take it in stride and we're going to enjoy every single ounce right. of it that we can. Why not, man? We only live once. No, no. We, uh, in true State Parker's fashion, absolute true State Parker's fashion, we forgot something really important. And I think we walked about a mile? Yeah. We walked about a mile, so we're going to walk a mile back. Melody thought she had her credit card in her in her pocket, but it was actually our room key. <laughs> Go figure. I'm sorry. So we got sat, and we ordered our drinks, and then we had to walk away. Anyway, we're going to go back, get that. We're going to come back. Yes. All right, so bear with us. This is an incredible adventure tonight. It's getting freaky, but we're gonna walk the road back this time so it's not so squishy. In all seriousness, we are almost back to the hotel room where we can go inside, retrieve the missing key, maybe save our game, and make our way back to the restaurant that we're trying to eat at. So far, it's been a treacherous journey. We are not far from accomplishing a true and wonderful adventure. Ooh. Yeah, pretty award-winning. Yes. If you ask me. Well, top number one rain adventure for sure, 100%. Woo! Holy crap. Yeah. So let's go get our money so we can go eat before we die. This is probably one of the grandest adventures yet. Woo! Well, the good news is we're still alive. The other good news is we made it back to the restaurant, Pier 99, the one we ate at earlier, what was that, last night? Yesterday. Yesterday, we ate at Pier 99. We're going to eat here again tonight. This is our second attempt. I told you we'd come back. We closed our kitchen down though. Did you really already? The saga continues. We walked back and unfortunately because of flooding their kitchen is now closed. But we're still going to get... Which makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it does make sense because that's the kind of day we've had. Yes. Um, and that's what we get for being bozos and walking out purposely into this stuff. Anyway, we're going to sit here, we're going to have a few drinks, they're going to be nice enough to serve us at least that. Pier 99, we were here yesterday. Yes. And we are, we came back because it was amazing. Thank you to the staff here at Pier 99. Absolutely. All in all, it's been fun. I'm going to speak on behalf of me and Melody from State Parkers. We want to say thank you to Aiden. He's been a really good sport about this. We're keeping them at work longer than they want to be here. And we're really enjoying the food. And they keep bringing us stuff. And now we have a t-shirt. Show them the t-shirt. Mm. We're the only tourists in town today, so we're getting treated. <laughs> we're getting treated like brother, but it's good. It's good, man. That's the man that's keeping it alive. I love my life. I love your life too. It's my life <laughs> that's in question. <laughs> yeah, boy, dude. Ouch. Seriously, best service, best food, clean bathrooms. This is Aiden. He was kind enough to serve us even though we were <laughs> that guy. It's all right. Yes. It's okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Yes. All right. We're out. We're gone. <laughs> Let's take a look out the window and see if it's any better today than it was. Oh my gosh. It is actually way worse today than it was yesterday and as for my camera it is officially toast it got splashed yesterday in just the right little spot and it shorted it out and it will not turn back on so that might be all she wrote for the Sony 4k camera that we've been working with for the past year or so that's a sad day for us uh, we just right now we just got to get our stuff packed up so we can try to get out of here and not get swallowed by these floods I see cars on the road, but they're out on the highway. We have to deal with the little inner city roads right now, and they're covered in water, so wish us luck. 
doing the idiot check. Mm -hmm. Make sure we got it all. That's right. Even if you're not camping, staying in a hotel room, always do your last check. Yes. Multiple times. Yes. No sense in leaving valuables behind in a damn hotel room. Oh, there you go. Yeah, see? Yes, see? Nice catch there, baby. Yeah, I didn't realize I brought my work shoes, but I guess that's what I was wearing on the trip here since we just bolted out of our jobs and jumped in the car and came to the beach. <laughs> we really, really did. <laughs> Best decision we made. Now, is getting back in the car and driving out into this mess another best decision we've made, or is it going to be uh, one of the worst? So far, it's looking pretty grim. I'm a little nervous. We are nervous, that. but we, I think we'll make it, and I think we, uh, you know, if we don't make it to work today, on one hand, so be it. On the other hand, those people will just die without us, so we, we, we need to try to get there. I guess so. We can't have that happening, can we? We're four hours away. Better hop to it. So, we're in the car. Let's recap. What did we do this trip? We uh, we got off work, we jumped in the car, and decided to go to Government Canyon in San Antonio. While we were in the car on our way to Government Canyon, we discovered that they don't even have camping during the week right now. It's only on Saturdays and Fridays. So, we decided to go to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas instead while we were having breakfast at Jim's. We decided that it was probably going to rain, so... We opted out of Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. We considered SeaWorld. We opted out of that too. So we just decided, hey, let's just head to the beach and go face the storm. And we got an entire day on Monday at the beach where we didn't face any storms. So we were thinking, oh, the coast is going to be pretty clear on that. And then, boom, we get blasted. We get blasted by what's still constantly going, just pure tsunami. <laughs> It's flooded the streets, it's flooded the beaches, and we had a good old time. The downside is my camera's destroyed. Melody almost lost her phone in the situation, but here's one funny thing. Do you want to tell them the funny thing about the lasagna? Okay, so let's talk about the lasagna. I turned the oven on, I put the lasagna in the oven, I closed the oven, I went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly so, how, that's how, that's how I've always done it. <laughs> hey, woke up this morning, was packing everything up, and thought to myself, maybe I should give that lady the frozen lasagna. Or shall I say, the cooked lasagna. <laughs> oh, FYI, yes, it was in there all night. But it was No, only, it was not burnt. It, it was, was cooked perfect. It was only warming the whole time. <laughs> But, and, but you say that lady. By that lady, you mean oh, yeah. the woman who is staying with her husband up here. They are, they're, they're rather unfortunate folks, but they're, they're being allowed to live here as long as they work around the yard. Um, but they're not able to do any work this week because it's like this. So they're, they're struggling really hard yep. and they're fighting a lot. So we uh, offered them the lasagna. Yeah, that's right. She was happy. They have the lasagna cooked. Ready, Delicious. Ready to go. Ready to go. Slow cooked lasagna. Mm -hmm. It cooked for 12 hours. Sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> can I have my lasagna yeah. back? <laughs> Should we go ask her if we can have a bite? One bite for the road. All right. Drive us out of here. All right. Let's go.